The first cell phone that was developed was in 1973 by Motorola and the phone name was the Dynatech 8000. When that first cell phone came out, it was a portable phone, but still it was tough to carry. So a lot of the developers tried really hard to make that cell phone become smaller, something you can carry with you no matter where you go. And they succeeded. They were actually able to make these cell phones extremely small. But shortly after that, people started using their cell phones for more things than just making calls. So phones naturally became bigger and bigger. Now, the question is, how big is too big for a phone? How big until the phone is considered a tablet? Well, today I'm gonna to show you guys the biggest Android phones available. We are gonna start off this list with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. From its 5.7 inch screen to its three gigabytes of RAM, we can easily see why this is a crowd pleaser. The display is a Super AMO LED 1080p with 386 DPI. This phone screams speed and a great battery life with a Snapdragon 800 processor with a 3200 mAh battery. Whether you like TouchWiz or not, you cannot argue it to the fact of what it adds to Android. It adds so many enhancements that you have to respect it. The S Pen is a huge selling point, allowing you to write, draw, move windows, annotate with precision. The multi-window support too is also a winner. The camera is a 13 megapixel and it also records in 4K resolution. And Samsung went away with the normal glossy plastic and went with a faux leather backing. Some may argue this adds a bit more styling and layer of functionality to the backing, and other people like myself call it cheesy. But regardless, Samsung is trying something different and pushing the envelope, and you have to respect that. The Note is known for its big size, but some people may question, how much bigger can Samsung actually go? Next up, we have one of the most unique phones that the market has ever seen and that is the Oppo N1. Oppo was a newcomer to the game, but they quickly realized the need for a large screen phone. This phone has a massive 5.9 inches, it has a back touch panel, 180 degree swivel camera, and also peripheral called the O-Click. This is also the first ever Cyanogen mod phone. There's an edition of this phone that you can purchase that comes preloaded with CM, and that in itself is pretty awesome. This device has pretty decent specs with the Snapdragon 600 processor, 1080p screen with 377 PPI, and the swivel camera is a 13 megapixel camera. So you can turn the camera and take a high resolution photo from the front. And selfies will never be the same again. The back touch panel allows you to navigate your phone from the back. And this makes the phone easier to use since the device is so large itself. The massively large phone makes other phones like the Note 3 looks like child's play. The Oppo N1 comes unlocked and it can be purchased through their website, oppostyle.com. We can't possibly create a list of the largest phones without having the Sony Xperia Z Ultra, which is the largest phone on my list with a 342 PPI, 1080p resolution, and a 6.4 inch screen. If anything is called a phablet in this list, this is it. Running the Snapdragon 800 processor with a 3050 milliamp battery. And if you've been listening to this by now, you should know this combo gives great battery life. And just like the Z1S, this is running the Sony Xperia skin. And just like all the other newer Sony smartphones, this too is waterproof. Sony decided to use this slate style device. And for something of this size, it's really tough to grip with one hand. The phone weighs in at a whopping 7.48 ounces and has a glass back. Kind of similar to the Nexus 4, which gives it a great feeling in your hand, but at the same time, it may not withstand a drop. This device has 16 gigabytes on board, two gigs of RAM, and the Adreno 330 GPU. The back camera is eight megapixels with image stabilization, HDR, and other Sony camera enhancements, and also has a two megapixel shooter on the front. This device is not carried in the United States at all, but it can be found internationally. Last but not least, I have for you is the HTC One Max. The HTC One Max had a quiet release. It snuck into the North American markets in the fall with Verizon and Sprint. The Snapdragon 600 device has a 5.9 inch screen with 373 PPI. And to me, that screen size is really trading close to a tablet. Two gigabytes of RAM, and it really shares the same internals as the standard HTC One, with a four megapixel camera and the 320 Adreno GPU. 
On the back, it has a fingerprint reader to unlock the device with just a swipe of your finger. This also doubles as a quick launch button. You can assign it to launch different applications when you swipe down. The HTC also sports an aluminum body, which gives it an overall premium feel. And oddly enough, it has a quick release backdoor button on the side of its body. This phone is available internationally and on Sprint and Verizon. Android Authority, that is it for my megaphone or phablet wrap up. As always guys, if you like what we do here at Android Authority, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and make sure you're engaged to the channel. Watch our videos every day because one of my brothers in Android may post a video. We have Josh, Jace, and Joe, Hindi, the app guy. All right guys, my name is Kevin, the Tech Ninja. You can find me on YouTube and on Google Plus. And we are Android Authority, your source for all things Android. Peace.